I'm starting this video off with a public service announcement because I need your help. I have this absolute gem of a race week trailer. Yes, it's made out of an old Dr. Pepper vending machine and I gotta make a hitch for it. It's gotta be a six inch drop and I'm gonna be using the inch and a quarter round coming off the back of the car for the parachute. If any of y'all have any ideas or can fabricate something for me, I would love to hear your ideas. I know I can do it, but I've been procrastinating this project and I just need to get it done. But in the meantime, check out these absolute beautiful wheels I'm putting on the trailer. And I'm gonna explain what they got going for them here in just a second. Dude, check out these Billet Specialties on the Dr. Pepper trailer. Oh, it happens to be that these wheels are the same bolt pattern that's on the Mustang. So it works out great. That way I only have to carry one spare for the entire setup. Obviously we're gonna be running a different tire on the street in the rear, so I've got wheels for that as well. But it, look at this setup. I mean, that is just, that's how it's done. Oh, I just went first round qualifying. We ended up on pole position, but there's word that they're gonna invert the qualifying field. Serious, there's been some times in the past, Larry, where we've kind of been flabbergasted by why they're running so close to each other in qualifying. Number one in that four car still on top at a 2403 for Brad DeBerti, a close second. There you see a 2415. All right, Zach. From what I've heard, you out here, you get performance anxiety. So <laughs> there's a lot of eyes watching on your first race. No pressure. <laughs> We're all going to be looking at your qualifying time. So. Make, well, sure, uh, uh, make sure you go I'm hard. I'm not going to shoot for a high qualifier. We're talking about his performance anxiety. I don't think I want to be <laughs> a high qualifier. I think I want to be like right in the middle just in case it inverts. Uh, I haven't heard anything about that. but got to be cautious here. I want to put Ty in a good spot. <laughs> yeah, I am. He's good, man. Yeah. Followed up right there by Jamie PFI Speed at number 33. Looks like got a little loose there, Uncle Chip. So that would put us near the back of the pack at the start of the race. And I'm gonna be running the first stint. Cletus, my brother, is gonna be running the second. So he's gonna have some, we're both gonna have our work cut out for us to get back up to the front of that pack. But it is the first time under these wet conditions. Parker, Teeth and Turbos here, one of my good homies. You're currently in pole position after qualifying. Tell us what you did out there different from what you did in practice a couple days ago. Well, you know, we talked about it early on, as long as we can keep those tires planted on the ground, keep traction, then we're gonna keep our times low. You know, it's when you get that wheel spin is when you start to lose that time. So I just try to stay consistent, keep the car on track where I wanted it to go, but it gets slippery down. Down here you know this asphalt's got a good grip to it but down in the bottom we can get out from underneath it real quick yeah it's definitely going to be a, a something to watch as different drivers cope with the change between the asphalt to the cement right, qualifying so far looks like cleet and i are still in the lead at a 24 oh right yeah oh three four and then we got deegan to birdie behind us yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, that means I'm sitting sixth, not bad. The field ain't gonna be inverted now, boys. Oh. <laughs> inverted the field, so the number one qualifier is starting in the back of the pack. So, that'll be a little bit more action for you guys tonight. Number one qualifier was Street Bike Tommy's team. Number two is KSR, and then Garrett and I are third. So, we are third from the back. We got a lot of cars about our way through, but hey. So I played my strategy a little bit different in this race. I kept a high line going into corners one and two. And what that allowed me to do was carry more speed into the kidney bean. A lot of the guys were cutting down inside on turns one and two, and you had to slow down a ton before entering that kidney turn. So it was a little bit of a different strategy than most guys were doing, but it turned out to work pretty good for us because we were able to battle our way up through the field throughout the first half of the race before Cleet took over. Terrible 
Thankful for your first go around, Ty. Hey, car made it through the first half. Now Zach's up. We got Dad wiping down the windshield for Cleet. Car made it. Got banged up a little bit over here. Driver's side rear. Not too bad. As we were able to work our way up from 15th all the way to 8th. So we're halfway through the field. We're going to let Garrett finish it out. See if we can't get that W tonight. Woo! Well, what happened? I didn't even see Cheyenne spun him out. What happened? Cheyenne spun Garrett out. That's dirty. to third place and we got bumped all the way to the back for causing a caution on 1776 Derek by script garage so he's gonna have to work his way up through the field for like the fourth time this then unreal I think we got what, Spence? Five laps to go? Yeah, yeah. Time's out. Five laps to go. Time's this out. is it. This is it. We got it. Zach Walker in the lead, and then we got Street Bike Tommy's team in second, and then we got Cleet in third. We got Time out. Five to go. Let's do this. Tied him might have the, the W coming up. What do you think? I think it's pretty much guaranteed. Zach is one of the finest racers out here. Oh, he almost I, won the dirty thirty. Yeah, he was ahead. He, he, yeah, he, he was ahead for twenty five laps. Right. So I think I think he's got this in the bag. I'm rooting for my boy. Yep. I know my boss is on the field, but yeah, I got to root for my boy. Yep.
as a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track, we're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. It's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only 39 bucks. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush at every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.